No, that was reversed. That wasn't real. This is SportsCenter. Hey, I'm Marissa Roberto on this digital sports center presented by Telus. And don't worry, you know we've got you covered with everything Taylor Swift later in the show. But we're gonna start with the Monday Nighters tonight. Sorry, two Monday Nighters tonight, as the Rams take on the Bengals and Bucks host the Eagles. But the big story in that later game is the status of Joe Burrow. Wait, Joe Burrow. <laughs> Burrow's been dealing with his calf injury since training camp and re-injured it in last week's loss to the Ravens. Burrow was a limited participant in practice Friday and Saturday, and at this point he's looking like a true game time decision for tonight. If Burrow can't go, then it'll be quarterback Jake Browning under center tonight for Cincy. But the first of our double header is between the Eagles and Bucks. And the big story here is the struggle in the Eagles offense. But take that one with a grain of salt, as Philly is 2-0 and and averaging just under 30 a game. So are they really even struggling? Or are expectations just so high for Philly coming into the season? And now they're not looking as dominant as last year's team, it's got people asking some questions. For Jalen Hurts, the passing numbers have been meh. But when you add in the rushing stats, he's still giving you four touchdowns over those first two games. So we think everyone needs to just make it relax when it comes to Philly and their offense. Now we all saw the little argument on the sidelines between Hurts and AJ Brown last week. And because of that, we really like the looks of AJ getting into the end zone tonight. He still has not scored a touchdown this season. And if he gets one tonight, you can get him at plus 140 on FanDuel. And you can watch this Monday Night Football doubleheader tonight on TSN. It all starts at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific with the Eagles and Bucks. Then at 8.15 Eastern, 5.15 15 Pacific, it's the Rams and Bengals. <laughs> all right, it was the biggest story all Sunday, and you know I got hot takes. Time to switch things over to Digital Swift Center. And we know if you signed into any social media yesterday, you saw all the hysteria. I mean, the fact that Patrick Mahomes had to talk about it in his post-game interview, like, come on. Do you realize how much pressure there was on you today from the Swifties to get Travis Kelsey a touchdown with Taylor in the house today? Yeah, I heard that, I heard she was in the house. Uh, Did you feel it? Did you feel the pressure, I, I, I thought, Patrick? I felt a little bit of pressure. Um, and so I knew I had to get it to Trav. And of course, it's on a route that Travis, he, he, he does his own thing and just makes up a route and I throw it to him. So uh, I think he wanted to get in the end zone just as much as uh, all the Swifties wanted him to. But nobody, and I mean nobody, saw this happening. Did Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey actually make Bill Belichick say something funny? See for yourself, this is Bill this morning, talking about the couple on WEEI Radio in Boston. Well, I would say that Travis Kelsey's had a lot. Kelsey's had a lot of big catches in his career. <laughs> this would be the biggest. Nailed it. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Bill, is that you? That was, that was pretty good. Oh, I'm actually really impressed. <laughs> But since we've already seen everything from yesterday, including arguably the best LFG in the history of sports, he's performing for a sweetie in the stands, you know? It's very cute. It's very romantic. Yeah, I stand. So in true Swifty fashion, let's dive deep into the corners of the internet and look at the best memes from yesterday and finish with maybe one of the funniest things ever from the Taylor Reddit community. This is Taylor showing she's just like all of us when meeting the parents for the first time, helping clear the table. This is for more of the football fans out here, and I appreciate that they've been shown some love, you know? <laughs> That's just facts. That's right, Jackson. Take a back seat, okay? And I mean all the way in the back. We've had enough of you. And I'm sure you all saw that Kevin James meme template going around this weekend. Well, you knew there'd be a Taylor and Travis one. <laughs> Wait, his face was exactly like that. He even looks like Travis Kelsey a little, no? That's weird. But maybe the best thing we saw was this. From I Miss the Old Kimmy A on Reddit, who created a mock-up of what Taylor's next album could look like. The album titled Travis Day. <laughs> Arrowhead eggs, all right, give me an absolute brark. <laughs> Red zone, regrets, no regrets, no regrets. Past plays and past days. <laughs> this is stupid. Uh, you dropped the ball is actually okay. Not fumbled feelings, she could never. <laughs> Outside of the Swift hysteria, it was an absolute bonkers day in the NFL. Let's start with the injuries because there were some massive ones. Chargers receiver Mike Williams appeared to suffer a major knee injury. And the initial fears were confirmed today, as Williams has a torn ACL and will miss the remainder of the season. Top news for Charger fans. And our resident Charger fan, Daniel Pignataro, was reacting in an appropriate fashion. Daniel? Is he in the fetal position? Saints quarterback Derek Carr reportedly suffered a sprained AC joint. He was actually taken to the hospital after the game, with the initial fear that the injury could be much worse. So good news is just an AC joint, but the early word is he may miss next week. And Raiders quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo played the entire game last night versus the Steelers, but after the game was evaluated for a concussion. According to head coach Josh McDaniels, who spoke today, Jimmy G is in the concussion protocol. 
but the biggest story Sunday has to be the Miami Dolphins, who had an offensive explosion against Denver, putting up 70 points, which is the third most ever in an NFL game. Miami is now down to 10 to 1 when checking Super Bowl odds on FanDuel, which seems kind of disrespectful to the Finns because they look like the best offense in the NFL and maybe one of the best offenses they've seen in the last decade. But they're getting a true test next Sunday in Buffalo in what looks like an early candidate for game of the season. Based on the numbers, we know we've got the league's best offense against what looks like one of the league's best defenses. It's already Monday, but we're already excited about this matchup in six days. If you're a Toronto sports fan, chances are you're dialed into this wildcard race. And lucky for you, get a night off from sweating out watching the Jays. Toronto beat Tampa 9-5 on Sunday to win the series. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but they're kind of in the driver's seat now for that second wildcard spot. And looking back two weeks ago, no one thought I'd be saying that sentence. Heading into tonight's action, the Jays are two games up on the Astros. And they're undoubtedly the hottest team in the race right now, as the Astros and Mariners have both lost three in a row. Tonight, those two AL West teams face each other, which is even more good news for Toronto especially if one team can sweep the other. The Jays, meanwhile, are at home for the last six games of the season, and they start a series with the Yankees tomorrow. And they're getting some great hitting at the perfect time, especially from Vladdy, who's been polarizing to say the least this season. Vladdy has homered five times in his last 10 games, and has a 314 average in that span. He's also four homers and six RBIs away from a 30 homer, 100 RBI season, which you wouldn't think based on how people have talked about him over the last month or so. And we finish with For the Win, presented by DoorDash. And this moment from yesterday's Giants-Dodgers game is just so wholesome. Miguel Rojas was mic'd up in the outfield, doing an interview with the broadcast while the game was going on. I love these. When all of a sudden, a ball was hit to shortstop. And I've been like using his bats and his guys here, and I don't think it's been a, a surprise that as soon as I start... Sorry, guys. I need to make this play real quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're comfortable. Thank you. Thank you. Well, not that comfortable. It's the first time doing this, but uh, uh, I have to make the play for Link. He's going to get mad at me if I don't do it. As he's making the perfect throw, we need to make this play real quick. Yeah, the confidence, the swag. I love it. That's all for today. We'll see you right back in tomorrow. Three, no Pacific. Have a good one.